Shannon here from the Pigeon Letters Design Team and today we're going to paint a realistic watercolor mushroom and add an expressive background behind it. So the first thing you're going to do is sketch your mushroom onto your watercolor paper. Make sure you check out the Pigeon Letters blog for the reference image and the sketch that I'm using. Then we're going to start painting our first layer. So to paint the mushroom cap, you're going to use your yellow and your reds. So pick up some of your yellow and you're going to start painting a small part of the left side of the cap. If you look at the reference image, you will notice that the left side is where the light is hitting the mushroom. So that is going to be the lighter side. So that's why I'm starting with this light color first. And then you're going to gradually add your colors as you paint across. And I'm not painting in any specific pattern. I'm just picking up color and putting it onto the paper. The colors that I'm using are somewhat diluted and very watery because I do want them to blend together naturally. So don't worry if your colors are too light and you're painting this layer because we are going to be adding another layer on top that will brighten the intensity of the colors. So just focus on getting your paint onto the paper. If your paint is still wet, you can always go back and add in more colors. I'm adding a little bit of red around the edge of that left side. Now we're going to paint the stem. So you're going to create a warm light gray color by mixing in a bit of ivory black with some Van Dyke brown and water. And make sure that you test your mixture on a piece of scrap paper before you start painting. Once you're satisfied with the color, you can then paint the mushroom stem. Once you're happy with the stem, you can allow the layer to dry completely before moving on to the next step, which is building up the colors. I'm going to use the same colors as the ones that I used for the first layer to paint over the mushroom cap. I'm starting with my yellow again and then gradually transitioning to my darker red color. As you get towards the darker side of the mushroom, you're going to mix in a small amount of violet with your darker shade of red. Then add that color to the right side of the mushroom cap. Once you're finished painting the cap, you can then move on to adding some shadows to the mushroom stem. And after you've added that color, you can then clean your brush and use water to blend it into the stem.
So a super fun way to create a sheen is to use chalk. Scribble some white chalk in the upper right side of the mushroom cap and then use your fingers to blend it into the paper. This is a simple, non-destructive way of adding white areas on top of watercolor because you can then use a dry paper towel to brush off the chalk if you want to get rid of it. So using the white medium of your choice, you're going to add dots to the cap of the mushroom. Make them different sizes and try to keep them as imperfect as you can. To make the larger spots, I'm just painting a cluster of smaller dots. The paint that I'm using is Winsor & Newton acrylic ink. I've had it for a while now and it's very thick so sometimes I add some water to loosen it up and today I added a bit too much water so some of my dots turn out a bit too transparent but I'm okay with that because paintings don't always have to be perfect and as long as you enjoy the process that's all that really matters. And before we move on to the next step, you can add any additional shadows that you need to. So I want to paint the background in a really fun and expressive way. So instead of painting a flat wash of color, I am just varying the values of the sap green that I'm using. So I'm starting with a light value. What I'm also doing is loading my brush with lots of water and then picking up some color and then just tapping it above the paper to add some splatters. Make sure you do this away from your mushroom because we don't want any of that green to be in the foreground. While the paint is still wet, you can sprinkle some salt and add splatters of clean water along with paint splatters to create some texture. So I'm just gonna add a few more things to just tie everything together. Mix a little bit of brown with your sap green and then you're gonna paint some thin blades of grass around the mushroom. Take your time when you're painting these, try not to get them too big and really vary the pressure of the lines that you're creating. What I also did was just add a small patch of grass along the base of the mushroom. So I'm just adding that paint and using a little bit of water to blend it into the background. And I'm also adding in just a few drops of brown to create some variation in this part.
I also added a few yellow and red dots to create some flowers and I added just some little tiny leaves. After I was finished with the grass, I added a few splatters of white, red, and yellow across the painting. I hope you were able to follow along and create a whimsical mushroom of your own. If you did create this, you can share it with me on Instagram by tagging me at by Shannon Lane so that I can see how it turned out.